Let's see what's on the shelf this week. Score a treat basketball is in stores now. Got chrome basketball hangers there. Weird new mystery box for baseball. There's chrome basketball blaster boxes and mosaic blasters as well. Let's see what we're going to pick up. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Huxbucks here. As you can see, this is what we found out in the wild. We picked up some 2023 Topps Chrome Basketball Blasters and Hangers. We're going to have a good old-fashioned box battle today. And honestly, if you saw any of my previous videos on Topps Chrome, you'll know I really wasn't planning on opening any of this. Liar! Well. But I really felt it necessary to recognize and commend Topps for the work they've done with the community. I just think it's fantastic they're making an effort to include younger collectors into the hobby. I absolutely applaud Topps' willingness to give kids the opportunity to design and develop an entire set and a major release to boot. So kudos, Topps. I'm a great liar. In all seriousness, though, this is what was on the shelf when we went sports card hunting. So I decided we'll do a little box battle, maybe against my better judgment. So we're going to have our box battle. At the end of the video, we're going to have our top five polls highlighted from each format, and we'll see. You guys can decide who the winner is. Make no mistake about it. Chrome Retail is not a good product at all, and it's quite the stark contrast to composite. Not going to do a product overview. We'll talk about the product as we rip. But before we get into the box break, I want you guys to know I have a giveaway going on for the month of September. To enter, just be a subscriber. And on any September video, like that video, leave a comment. Every video gets you one entry into the giveaway. Details are in the description below. All right, so let's get into it. We'll start with the hanger. These are $15 to $20. These are $20 at Walmart. You're going to get 20 cards total. Um, it's four or five card packs. We're going to look for the orange basketball refractors out of these. Um, and that's about it. Um, the thing about Chrome Retail is you can't pull numbered cards, um, really. Well, you can't to the base. The only... Numbered cards you can pull are of autographs. So here, we're basically, all we're looking for is the orange basketball parallels um, and the green parallels. Pretty common, not super valuable. Um, yeah, the autographs we can hit out of here are the certified, and this is across all retail, the certified and future stars, so we can get the base out of here, and then the orange basketball which are going to be numbered to 25 am i getting it back yeah 25 incredibly tough pulls like the base autos out of the hangers they're going to fall the certified base are going to fall one in every 272 packs or one in every 68 hangers um and then the uh future stars is one in uh 162 packs or one in 40 hangers so it's pretty rare it's hard to hit. Here's your top scrum. It's unlicensed, of course. Um, they didn't do a great job of the Photoshop jobs. See the numbers I've noted are on the jerseys are everywhere. Um, it's probably a lot tougher to hide out of uh, in basketball than composite football. But uh, that is just your green Carmelo. Young Carmelo to boot. So, I mean, the refractor looks good. It looks pretty good. The cards just don't, though. The background is... They, I guess they can't show action backgrounds in retail, but they're pretty pretty uh, fugly. They're, it looks like something that came out of a 1960s house that uh, has been redesigned. There's a Power Boosters Green, Dame Lillard. Maybe it's just something about basketball that's not when it's not licensed. It just looks worse. Not a not a great look. It, to get a bay, but if you're gonna buy retail, um, the hangers and the the blasters are your best bet to just get a base rookie at about six hundred. Uh, and a cost per base is $600 per base auto versus the, the monsters or the megas, which are like $900. Um, so I guess if you're 
Trace Jackson Davis. If you're hunting for just a base auto, LeBron. This is the orange basketball, Allen Iverson. This is your, yeah, your orange basketball, not numbered, um, not particularly special. Mr. Griffin, everyone thinks their dying child is special. I'm really all you're hoping to hit out of, out of these boxes. You're literally looking for a Wemby autograph, which is probably gonna be a base. And the base are Redemptions. That is a Tim Hardaway, Tim and Tim Hardaway Jr. It's a DNA, I think they're all refractors. Now Markel Fultz, green. All right, so we're gonna do this. We gotta separate these out. There's the hanger, hangers there. We'll do a blaster now. And yeah, the ceiling is, uh, I mean, is, Okay, hi. You can pull Super Fractor bases out of here on uh, any of them. But you're really hoping for a Wemby, like, parallel refractor pink, um, orange. That's what you're hoping for. So the blasters, we're going to look for the pink and the short print pink basketball. They're not numbered. Um, these are about 30 bucks. Uh, you're going to pay at most places. They were at Walmart, $30. So, again, it's, just a, it's, it's incredibly tough to pull anything out of Chrome Retail. Incredibly tough. Jarese Walker, Jalen Brown, Elvin Hayes. Really, it's a, it's a rough product. I'm not going to do a review uh, on these. This is a box battle video. I would just tell you, uh, stay away from Chrome Retail. Unless you got an itch to scratch. Jaron Jackson Jr. on the green. We'll give kudos to, to that parallel. I like the, the Topps logo embedded. So here's our first pink. Maxi Whitmore Ingram. A sudden impact of Mathurin. D'Angelo Russell on the pink. So there you go. I don't even know if... Uh, I should do a, a, a highlight, a top five for each. I don't know if we're going to have any real highlights that are worth Donovan Mitchell and our pink. Sabonis. It's rough, man. It is rough. And it's just to compare this to, I'll at least say, just as a set design, to compare this to composite, is uh, it's such a stark contrast. It's so different. Rip Hamilton. Particularly the composite megas, which are excellent. Like mini hobbies. I would highly recommend, not that you're going to be able to find any of them. Cade. Meta World Peace. Round Ball Royalty of De'Aaron Fox. That just, I don't know. That picture looks bad. How it's photoshopped. His, that jersey is photoshopped onto a t-shirt. Can't believe his mom dressed him like that. Just, I, it, I don't know. I don't know. Like, call it like I see it, and any of the images of these cards, there's a Victor base. Okay, one card worth sleeving. Um, I don't know what his bases are right now. I know his refractors are about 100 bucks. I have to imagine these are probably sitting around 30. Let's put that in the in the pile. There's, I mean, not a bad one, but it's the unlicensed. Look at that refractor line running right through there. Whew. Pods. Pajemski on the green. So there is blaster one. Let's go to the hangers. Back to the hangers. I would have opened Hobby if I could have got it at, uh, you know, pre-order pricing. I absolutely would not pay. Oh, what? They're up to, still at like $500 for Hobby. Would not pay that price at all. Another Trace Jackson Davis, Jimmy Butler, and a film study of Scoot. Not bad. It's a Scoot. 
Look how just the photo job, the Photoshop jobs around their body. It just, it doesn't, none of it looks right. It's like, it, none of it looks right. And then his face, like he's, so he's going up. I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand the shots. The worst is the one Kulabali Destiny. It's probably the worst uh, Photoshop job in the entire set. Let's get a move on. Chris Paul, it's, I know I'm bagging hard on the product. Haquez, now that, as has been mentioned before, is a turnaround shot. You know, the, the sexy walk away, looking back pose is good, like they did on the Victor. Posing for Prey Boy. Those are good. Uh, but anything front facing. Whew. About as ugly as I am. This is why you don't see my face. Rest in peace, Bill Walton, Bede, Bane, Jalen Rose on the green. You can tell when you're getting something in a tops pack. Tops always gives you, you always get the four base. And then, like, we're going to have an orange basketball here. Pete Nance. Deep cut. Cam Whitmore on the sudden impact. Be a Victor. Or be a Kyle Kuzma. Yeah, I mean, really, you're just hoping for, uh, that's a green sudden impact to Cam. You know, those numbers down here on some jerseys, they, like, push it down. It's It's odd. Um, it's not where basketball or on the, uh, pods, his number's way up there. Makes no sense. They just pushed the numbers around and photoshopped it willy nilly. Jalen Pickett, Paul Gasol on the refractor. Is that what uni is that? I don't even know. All right. Um, we're going to finish out with the hangers. Not finish out. We'll finish off the hangers. Put them out of their misery. And then hit the last blaster. And we really, you're you're just looking for a Wemby out of these. Um, you want to hit a Wemby. And then call it a day. That's what you're looking to do. Timmy Allen. Sudden impact. Franz Wagner, pink basketball. Io on the pink basketball. I did do a video value sheet on these, particularly like figuring out how many Wemby autos are in here. Um, he loves that basketball. Never gonna let you go. Don't ever let that basketball go. And it's really hard to pull a, a Anthony Black on the rookie. It's really hard to pull even just a, on a cost per to pull a Wemby Refractor, which a $100 card, I think it's, what did it come out to? Oh, I'll put it on the screen. It was a couple thousand dollars you'd have to, I could be totally exaggerating. Maury Bailey on the green, wrong rookie. Round ball royalty of Embiid. This is a cool looking card, very Crusade-esque. Very Crusade-esque. Last, last blaster, not blaster, last hanger pack. Let's put the hangers out of their misery. David Thompson, Latrell Sprewell, Sasser, and a Tobias Harris on the orange basketball. All right. The hangers definitely seem to have the more parallels, more shiny cards. But we'll get a stack here with the last blaster. We got the one base Wemby. I have to think that puts the blasters ahead. We'll see if they can put the... Hey, hey, there's another victor. Hey, we'll take two of those. Okay. Would I grade these base... Victor's, uh, no. I don't think I would. I think that probably does it 
board as far as who's going to win. Scotty Barnes, Prosper, Giddy, and a Jason Kidd on the green. Plenty of greens, all the greens. What are the chances we get an auto? Quickly, Robbins. Marcus Smart, Alonzo Mourning. Um, it should be noted as well, um, the base Future Stars and Certified Autos for Wemby appear to be all Redemptions. If you can get a numbered one um, out of here, Film Study. Steph Curry, that's not bad. A Trace Jackson Davis Pink. We'll sleeve these two up. I think it's kind of a runaway on this. The blasters are kicking the hangers, but not that I'm saying run out and buy blasters, but GG, Plain Wade, Walker Kessler. Looks like his jersey is painted on. And a Jason Kidd. I can't, I can't not see the bad Photoshop jobs. Not all of them are terrible. But when they're wearing something underneath, it does look bad. Bilal still holding on to that ball. A film study of DeJounte Murray. Last blaster pack. Do you have our auto? Do you have our auto? Anthony Black. Anthony Black Green Basketball. All right, so there you have it. We're going to do our top five for each format. You guys can decide who the winner is. I think the clear winner was probably the Blasters, but there you go. If you guys like this kind of video, like this content, consider subbing to the channel. Only about 20% of you who watch are. At the very least, if you can hit that thumbs up button, it helps out the channel tremendously, and it would be very much appreciated. I do want to thank you guys for watching, spending even just a minute of time with me today. Till next time, peace.